Hi, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Tiski Tutorials, and this is FPS 1.10. Uh, this episode, what we're going to be learning is how to make a unique look sensitivity for each gun when we're holding down right click or when we're aiming down the barrel or aiming down the sights. Uh, so depending on what type of gun it is, we may want to have uh, different look sensitivities for when we're aiming down the sights. So now when we aim down the sights, not only are we going to be lining the gun up with where we're about to shoot, but we're also going to have a little bit lower sensitivity so that we can get more accurate shots. Um, so, But this might be different for different guns. So like if we have a sniper rifle, you're probably going to want to have a very low accuracy. I mean a very low sensitivity so that you can be more accurate. Um, but the problem with that is that you can't make sharp turns while aiming. So a gun like a pistol, where you don't need to be as accurate because we're probably going to be in close combat, but you do need to change from target to target and move a lot faster, uh, we're going to uh, lower the sensitivity a lot less so that when you aim with a pistol, you'll still, uh, you'll still increase your accuracy or lower your sensitivity, um, but not as much as a sniper rifle. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty simple to do, and we're going to need to learn how to make two scripts talk to each other to um, make that happen. So yeah, let me pull up my text file and let's get started. Um, so we're going to be dealing with two scripts today, the mouse look script and the gun script. Uh, in the mouse look script, we're going to have a variable called current aim ratio. Uh, what this variable is going to do is we're going to multiply this by look sensitivity um, and we are going to have gun script completely control uh, current aim ratio. So current aim ratio is going to be saved inside of the mouse look script and it's going to we're going to adjust the lines of code that turn the mouse movement into looking around in 3D space and multiply it by current aim ratio. And then we in gun script we're going to have aim ratio and aim ratio is going to be the uh, unique number for each gun um, and this is going to be a number that we multiply or that we're going to set current aim ratio to so basically it's going to be a number that we're going to multiply look sensitivity by uh, to lower the sensitivity and increase the accuracy so um, this has got to be a number that's going to be between 0 and 1 0 being the lowest sensitivity 1 being the same sensitivity so if we set it to 0.5 that means that our gun is going to move half as fast uh, when we're aiming. Um, so yeah, and that, that variable we can define in the inspector for each different gun. So let's take a look at the first line of code that is in the gun script. Move this over so I can make sure you guys can see it. And this right here is actually a couple lines of code that we already have in place and we're just going to add a few more lines of code in place. So, um, I can't remember if this was one episode or two episodes ago. I, no, it was the last episode. Um, these are the lines of code that we made last episode. And basically, if fire two or right click is being held down, we're going to smooth damp the ratio hip hold to zero. And if it's not being held down, it's going to smooth damp it to one. Um, and we just added in these two lines of code here. Let me highlight them line one and line two. So as we can see here with the first line, what it's going to do is it's going to take camera object, which remember this is the variable that, uh, it's the game object variable that remembers the game object of the camera um, so that we can access the camera at any point. Uh, so far all we've used it for was finding the position of the camera and just making it easier to find the camera's position in code so that we can make the gun jump to the camera's position. Um, but in this, instead of accessing the transform, we're going to be accessing the mouse look script and then we're going to be pulling current aim ratio out of the mouse look script. So that's camera object .get component mouse look script current aim ratio. So yeah, just pulling uh, or getting the component mouse look script and then pulling current aim ratio out of that and then having it equal aim ratio. So uh, one thing I just want to note, we are not changing aim ratio. We are changing current aim ratio. So we're changing the variable that's inside of the mouse look script from the gun script. So um, if uh, right click is being held down or if fire two is being held down, we're going to set current aim ratio to uh, aim ratio. 
Alright, and then we have these two brackets right here, and where's the second one? Right here. So we needed to add those two brackets because, uh, remember, if we have an if statement and if we have two lines of code that we want to be executed, if the if statement returns true, we need to enclose those into brackets. But if it's only one line, we don't need brackets. Um, so same thing down here, if it is not being held down, Here's the brackets. So if it's not being held down, it's going to run these two lines of code. Um, so it will uh, move the gun back to the right-hand corner of the screen. That's what this line of code is. And then this one is just going to set the current aim ratio to 1, because 1 is going to have it equal the default value of the look sensitivity. So it's just not going, going to affect the look sensitivity at all. It's just going to be the same look sensitivity as if we had no gun. Um, so yeah, that's that two lines, those two lines of code that we're going to be adding. So same thing as uh, moving the gun from the bottom right-hand corner of the screen to the center of the screen. If it's not being held down, it's just going to go back to default. But if it is being held down, we're going to set it to aim ratio. All right, and now let's see how we are going to modify the mouse look script. So these two lines of code are pretty much the same. The only thing that we are adding are multiplying it by current aim ratio. So those are the only two things that we're going to be adding to these lines. Because beforehand, this was just getting uh, the mouse X and mouse Y compared to what they were the last frame, and then adding it to the X and Y rotation, and then multiplying it by look sensitivity. And on the X rotation, or mouse Y, it's negative because to get rid of the look inversion um, and then multiplying that by current aim ratio and current aim ratio is going to be changed by the gun script uh, depending on whether or not we're holding down right click or not. So that's either going to be one or the value that we set in the inspector in the gun script for uh, how sensitive we want that gun to be when we're aiming. So yeah, that's all the code that we're going to be doing today. So let's cut the green screen and go straight to screen recording. Okay, here we are inside of Unity, and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is go into the mouse look script and add the variables that we're going to need here. So what was it? Var... I'm going to cheat and go back to I'm trying to remember exactly what I called it. Um, it was in here. Uh, current aim ratio. Okay. So var current aim ratio float, and we want the default value to be 1 because we want, we want it to start off as 1, and let's hide this in the inspector because we don't need to see it or affect it in the inspector. Um, we want the default value to be 1 because, um, well, it doesn't really matter too much, but that's just not changing it at all, so it's just the default value, 1 is a good place to start. So yeah, um, and then let's go over here, where is it, look sensitivity, let's multiply this by current aim ratio. Current aim ratio. One thing I want to note that I just noticed is that I wrote it differently in my two different lines of code. Um, before, I had that as a negative to get rid of the uh, look inversion, but in this script, I have the negative over here. So it's going to do the same thing. It's just a negative times a negative equals a positive. Um, so this thing, we're just turning the whole thing into a negative. So essentially, it's the same thing. So in case you're wondering, don't get confused from that. Um, so right now, we have the default value of current aim ratio to 1 and we're multiplying this whole thing by 1. And you know, any number times 1 is going to be the same number. So right now, we're really not changing anything. If we play the game right now, nothing will change. So we need to go into the gun script and actually um, add the changes that we need. So what was it? Bar, whoops, aim ratio, float. And this is the number that we want um, the particular gun's aim ratio to be. So since we have a pistol, let's change it to something. Well, I'm going to set it to more like 0.4, just so that we can really see the difference, because it might be a little hard to see on the screen recording. Um, 
So I'm going to set aim ratio to 4. And now let's add our brackets into here because we need to create brackets because now we're going to have more than one line of code underneath these if statements. So now we have if we are holding down fire 2. So what do we need? Um, camera object. We're accessing the camera, which we defined in the inspector earlier. And we're going to do get components. And the component we want to get is the mouse look script. All right. And then we want to get current aim ratio from that. And we're going to set it to aim ratio. Awesome. So now let's copy and paste that whole line of code and put it in here. And instead of setting it to aim ratio, we're just going to set it to 1. So if we are holding down fire 2, we're going to access camera object, we're going to access the mouse look script, and then we're going to get the variable aim, uh, current aim ratio out of it and set it to aim ratio, which we have defined up here. And we can adjust it in the inspector. Um, and then if we're not holding it down, it's just going to set the same thing to 1, so to the default look sensitivity. So now let's go over and play it and see what it looks like. All right, so right now I'm not aiming, so we have a pretty fast look sensitivity, and I do aim, and it definitely slows down. And then it's fast again, and it's definitely slowed down. So I don't know if you guys can be able to see this in the screen recording. Here, I will, I will set it to a more extreme amount. So we'll go over here. All right, aim ratio, I'm going to set that to, well, okay. So 0 0.075 something something. So let's see how much that affects it. This is probably going to affect it a lot. So I hold it down, and then it goes really, really slow. I'm moving my mouse all around my desk right now. And now I'm just lightly wiggling my mouse, and I can look around very fast. So that makes, that makes a huge difference when I'm aiming. So now I can do very broad movements and get very accurate aiming. Um, so yeah, depending on what gun you have, um, you can set that to different values. I'm going to change this to something a little bit higher and something a little bit more usable. Um, but yeah, you guys can define it to whatever you want. But just remember, if you set this to zero, um, it's just going to not move at all. See, I'm moving the mouse and it's just not moving at all. And if I set it to one, it's not going to change at all. Um, and then if I set it to, I don't know, something bigger, I'm going to increase my accuracy, which would make no sense, but I guess if you have some sort of crazy certain gun, you can do that if you want. But now I just have crazy, unusable look sensitivity. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set that to a number more like 0 0.5. Um, so you can set it to different numbers depending on your gun. Um, so yeah, that is how to make uh, the look sensitivity jump back and forth when you are aiming. So, uh, thanks for watching. As always, keep making games, Twitter, I don't know, subscribe, whatever. Have a good day. Keep making games. Goodbye.